Swiss Beats v Drake. Oh, that was a funny one, isn't it? A weird one, but a funny um, interaction nonetheless. Uh, so the original beef, I guess, started off the back of, from what I've been reading, or not from what I've seen online, basically, basically via academics, is Swiss Beats and uh, Buster Rhymes were on a, on a Instagram live, you know, talking, having some fun. I'm assuming this was sometime after um, Alicia Keys had her battle with John Legend, and somehow through a com- some way through the conversation, they get talking about records that hadn't come out. I think that's no. Some during the conversation they bring up the topic that the record that Buster and Drake were on had leaked, which is a pretty cool record. It sounds like something you know. It probably sounds like a so far so gone era, or nothing was the same. Um, it's, it doesn't sound like a you know current um Drake. So maybe that was the reason why it wasn't released, or maybe at that moment he didn't want to release it. I don't know. Artistic differences, and Buster Rams was pretty diplomatic, and then you know Swiss Beach just went out the window and just said this boy's a pussy. I don't respect him. You know, swear to that alike, right? And then within the space of what less than 24 hours i'm gonna say less than 24 he rescinded the com- he rescinded the comment um didn't want to didn't want any smoke <laughs> and then he basically apologized because off the back of that chubbs um and this guy called t gucci on tv or tv on gucci whatever his name is decided to threaten swiss and it just got me thinking in general about um Drake's position in the scene and just how much hate he seems to inspire from some of the older guard. He seems to always there seems to always be a bit of a friction and a battle between um Drake and some of the old guard in hip hop. And I don't really know what this deal is. Someone said somewhere I read I maybe I don't know where I heard it from, that supposedly the issue comes off of uh maybe some um extra marriage relationships between Drake and Lisa Keys, which I'm not really sure is true. I'm pretty sure it's maybe to do with music. Someone didn't do a video. Someone didn't do an appearance. Someone didn't send back a guest verse. Well, something along those lines. It's usually about that. And I think what happens, my interpretation would be, if you're somebody of Swiss's level, regardless of Drake is the new kind of flavor of the month guy, you still think you're the same. You have the same sort of star power, which you can argue he probably does. So when someone of the same level as you kind of ghosts you or doesn't give you a reply that you like, you sort of take it personally because you guess in your head you're like legends understand legends understand legends right it's a it's a it's a lions v lions sort of fight you're not you know you're not talking to a sheep you're not talking to some um you know some infant coming up in a game you're a seasoned vet they're a seasoned vet there should be like a mutual respect because you know you've both achieved what you had to achieve you both at the apex of the mountain you're not necessarily trying to get any clout from the other person which you probably are but you know you could interpret that you're not so you'd hope that they'd be a little bit more favorable in their reply to you right they'd probably be a little bit more responsive right they'd probably pick up your phone call the first four rings or something i get where he comes from so then when drake doesn't do that and he kind of beats to his own drum which you kind of feel like he kind of gets a bit of pleasure out of making the older group um of hip-hop icons dance a bit to his tune which you know you can't be mad at him for especially if you can you know you try and picture how he must have been spoken to or dealt with when he was coming up and no one really believed in him especially when i kind of found him during the whole myspace era and during the whole ovio blog era october's very own sorry blog era which um what's his face used to do uh oliver used to kind of um manage so you can imagine people used to think of who's this guy from degrassi canadian mixed race he's singing songs and shit no one probably took him seriously so he probably was in in a lot of situations that really rubbed him up the wrong way and let him you know and i imagine drake isn't somebody that has i don't know he doesn't strike me as the most forgiving guy in the world even though you know he kind of got over the whole make meal thing he kind of seems like somebody that maybe he might forgive but he's never never gonna forget so he probably <laughs> um remembered something like an elephant and just kept it in his back pocket and then when swiss came to ask for the favor he was like oh now you're gonna feel the power now you're gonna feel the difference the gap in between where i am at and where you're at and I guess Swiss Beast's apology kind of showed that. And the fact that he was, I think in his first rant, he said something like, oh, I'm going to shoot his plane out of the sky, right? It's like, God damn it, you hate the guy a lot. And <laughs> it's such a mad statement because I, and the funny thing about it is also it's, it's, there's the dynamic between Swiss, Drake and Alicia. Because you'd imagine Alicia and Drake are pretty cool. I'm not, I, I wouldn't imagine they're exchanging like that text to each other, but I'd imagine if they pass each other in a wool ceremony, you know, they'd be courteous, you know, some uh, bizu bizu cheek by cheek. But then <coughs> you have your partner 
um, publicly feuding with a guy who you respect his artistry and he wrote one of your best songs in fireworks and whatever maybe it's just difficult difficult situation to be in but bloody else was beats he went for it man he definitely definitely went for it but the comment about shooting his plane out of the sky was just hilarious to me i just said like, god almighty he hates him a lot he hates him so much um and the video of him apologizing is just so sad you know when you see somebody of his age apologizing for something like that because it wasn't that you know he felt what he felt and he said what he said in it but to apologize in less than 24 hours also makes me think what um Six nine said about if you want a career you have to apologize to Drake. That's probably true. If you want to survive in a game, you have to not be for Drake and you have to apologize. <clears throat> happy Father's Day, happy Father's Day, blessings to everybody um on this amazing Father's Day. Um man, I want to address my actions on Zone Radio last night, man. You know, um mainly because I was I was in the wrong space, I was in the wrong energy, you know. And I hate that my kids and other people got to see me be on that side. I was a little nice. I was a little excited. You know, I definitely spoke on some things that um, that I definitely shouldn't have spoke on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, although I might feel a certain way about a certain person and different things like that. As a G, I'm man enough to, enough to say that, you know, I did that on the wrong platform. And I wasn't supposed to do that like that. Because I, would, I wouldn't respect somebody else if they did that like that. You know? And you know what makes this a real issue? Because if I'm just thinking about it, this wasn't even his beef. This was Buster Rhymes um, should feel aggrieved by it, right? Drake came through Buster Rhymes to get a Drake Dilla beat. Just Rhymes jumps on the, on the song hoping Drake's going to put it out and he doesn't. It should be, Buster should be the one feeling more aggrieved by it. But the fact that Swiss jumped out the window makes you, makes you believe or you know, you're, you're led to believe that there's real issues there. Because when you don't like somebody, you look for anything to jump on them and hit them over the head with. I've been there, right? When you don't like somebody, you really want to stick it to them. Any slight infraction, whether it's kind of, you know, two steps removed, right? You're just going to go all out because it's giving you any reason to say, do something. It's like when, you know, you get in a conversation with somebody, like, just say that word, say that phrase, say whatever it is, just so you can have an excuse to lay them in the ground. Isn't it? And I guess this is what it was for Swiss. And for him to apologize in less than 24 hours, and again, you have to remember, this is switched from Rough Riders, right? Just watch some of the Rough Rider videos from the early, from the, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. See how heavy they were in the streets, right? Read about some of the stuff they got up to, allegedly. And it makes you think, bloody hell, if this guy is afraid, right, of what may happen, again, maybe it's mostly just monetarily, mon monetarily, right? I don't think beef is, you know... Beef is not profitable, especially if you're on the losing side, right? Um, just ask Ja Rule, right? He's running around doing commercials for Greek restaurants, right? Um, off the back of what happened with him in 50. He didn't come out of that one looking too great. Um, but beef is not beef is a risky game, right? Especially if you can get into it with somebody who's widely loved. Even No Name is kind of going through the similar sort of thing, right? She got into a bit of a feud with J. Cole and now a week later people are starting to turn on her somewhat. Beef can be very risky, especially if you play it wrong. If, if you don't play your cards right. So in this case, maybe that's why he decided to kind of, you know, turn tail and be like, hey, I don't want the smoke because you want to keep your galleries. You want to keep doing your verses. You don't want to put, you know, because that could jeopardize that. You just never know what people are connected with. Right. He does a deal with Apple. Um, Drake's basically in the pocket of Apple. He, you fuck up that that bag. Then you're done in that regard. Other executives kind of get put off by you. It just doesn't. It's not a good look overall. So I understand the apology, but God damn it, man. Drake's got some power in this industry, some real, real, real power, <laughs> and it shows, isn't it? It bloody shows.